Oh, dang it. That's as low as it goes. Okay, everybody, here's the dealio. My good friend Sam has turned 18 this year. And typically when you turn 18, you know, the traditional thing to do is go out and buy a box of cigars, maybe a lottery ticket. Well, Sam, he's decided to take it one step further. Sam has decided to run for mayor and I'm going to go support him. Actually, I don't think it's mayor. I think it's more like something a little bit lamer, like, like, like town council, but it's still pretty funny to me. And who am I to judge, you know? I'll go support my friends, but you know, what? pretty much whatever they do, as long as they're not you know, shooting somebody. Well, actually I can't vote because he's a, he's a town over. He's like, I'm over here and I can't vote for him over there, but I can go cheer for him. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the only issue is, I don't think you can bring a camera to where I'm going. So I've, I've kind of thought of a loophole. I don't know if it's gonna work. Maybe it'll work. Hopefully it does. My hair is crazy. I'm going to dress as a reporter. <laughs> and so pretty much every reporter seems to be wearing a dark suit. And I think that I might have a dark suit. All right, here is the before. A little bit of a bed head going on with the PJs. Let's see what we can do. And here we are with our transformation. I don't know if you can tell, but I am uncomfortable. Uh, I ran into my fair share of issues trying to fit in the suit. Uh, I had to swap out a pair of pants and the jacket, so it was a completely different suit. That's fine. Put on a little bit of weight, but we'll get that down during the summer. Once interview season comes back, I'll be good to go. But for now, you're looking at Caleb Pilstrom, independent reporter from the Caleb News Network. Okay, everyone, I'm sure this is a very flattering um, look of me, but I made a quick pit stop at the bank. Now we are heading off to report the news. I'm trying to get to, uh, I have a friend who's, um, I don't even know what, I think it's for town council or uh -huh. whatever. I'm going to support him. Okay, where, where at though? There's a tree down and okay. you don't get the so far. Okay, it's uh, the government building? The I'm government not... building? Yes, sir. All right, so you make a right right here, a left right here. Okay. Go to the stop sign, make a right. And then once you make that right, go about a mile and look to your right, you'll see the government building and the fire station. Thank you, sir, okay. I appreciate right. it. Have okay. a good one. I don't think I made this really clear, but Sam lives in the absolute boonies. <laughs> and. <laughs> And uh, it's already hard to get to where he lives because I don't know where the heck I'm going. And so now I'm going down the, uh, just a road I've never, is that an ostrich? What the, I'm not making that, I think there were ostriches right there. I'm not even making it up, not making it up. There were totally ostriches right there. Uh, real talk, real quick. I don't get the hype around country roads, all right? A legendary song by John Denver. Everything else, terrible. Country roads are like this. You can't, and then when a giant truck comes by, you're expected to drive into a ditch to avoid it. It's ridiculous. Country roads are the worst roads. They're terrible. They're terrible. There it is. And there they are. Hello, this is Caleb Pilstrom with the Caleb News Network. I'm here with Sam. And Sam is running for? Town Council. Sam, how do you plan to improve the lives of the people in this town? Uh, improving businesses, intriguing more businesses to come here, adding sidewalks in more places, uh, just enforcing the laws and speed limits in town, making it a safer place. Great. What do you plan to do about the uh, growing population of rednecks in the area. <laughs> I think, you know, we need all types of people, you know, rednecks, uh, hillbillies, all types. It, it really diverses us. I heard from a birdie that you're allergic to tomatoes. Is this true? That is true. How do you expect to run a government if you can't even enjoy chips and salsa? I believe that will be a challenge, but it will, you know, difference me from the rest of the candidates and make me a better, you know, understanding for the people who can't also eat salsa. If I were to vote, which I'm not going to, what would you what would you say to me? That there are not many people running and I'm the only option. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of some more excellent questions I can ask you. 
You didn't come prepared, did you? I only had that one. Did you go to journalist <laughs> school? Mm. Re- no. <laughs> <laughs> well, could you tell? <laughs> is it possible that Russia is colluding in this election? Uh, you can talk to my campaign manager about that. I'm not going to make any comment. Where do you see yourself in government in uh, 20 years? Well, I'm hoping to move up to um, the Senate or the Congress or even the White House, possibly. Whoa. Okay, this probably okay, this is a pitch. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm good. Okay. Sam's about to give a pitch to someone for real. This is gonna be pretty cool. You coming to vote? No, no, no. I, I don't live in the. I don't live in the city. Oh, okay. Wasn't the answer you were looking for? No, I was expecting someone to live in the town, but you gotta roll with the punches. You approached that man and said, hey, are you voting? I think that perhaps you should work on your pitch a little bit better. I think instead of worrying about my pitch, you should work on your interviewing skills. Oh. Your microphone seems to be falling apart. Yeah, it's part of the job. <laughs> Sam has a hot take here. Sam, what is your opinion on country roads? I believe that they're good. I believe that they take us home to the place that we belong. And I think that they are far better compared to old town roads. And I think it's all positive when it comes to country roads. Sam won by an absolute landslide with a total, a total of 13 votes. The voter turnout was an absolute town record. I don't know if it was, but it's a small town and everybody else seemed to be pretty happy with the numbers. Oh yeah, it also turned out that nobody cared that I had a camera. There was like six people there. One was Sam, one was me, and one was his mom. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Any interaction that you have on the channel helps. So click subscribe. In fact, smash the subscribe. Goodbye.